So our uh, next speaker is uh, Professor Asutosh Saxena. He is uh, Dean R&D, CMR Technical Campus. Uh, Dr. Asutosh Saxena is an industry expert and academician with over two decades of experience, 90 plus international publications, 26 granted patents, and a book on PKI, Concept, Design, and Deployment in Tata Magra Hill 2004 to his credit. His research interests include information security and privacy. He began his career uh, as a uh, lecturer and computer engineer in the university and IUC DAE facilities at Indore. He, um, uh, he has been associate professor at IDRBT. Uh, he worked there from 1998 to 2006. He supervised two PhD. He worked at Infosys Limited from 2006 to 16 as principal research scientist and AVP. He is member of the review board for uh, many international journals, conferences and committees. He has served as a adjunct faculty at NIT Warangal and professor and dean R&D at CMR Technical Campus. He is currently a professor of computer science at CR Rao uh, AIM SCS at uh, University of Hyderabad Campus, Hyderabad. Sir, over to you. Thank you, Mr. Anup, uh, for the kind words and introduction. And uh, I hope this, uh, we will be doing justice to the time given to me regarding this uh, session, which is almost 20 minutes. And possibly, I'm not sure how many people are there in the conference right now, so that the questions can be, question timing could be adjusted accordingly. So. I will start uh, with a, a slight change in the trend which is going since morning regarding the PKI and what we are seeing uh, the typical implementations from the east to the west where uh, some types of hacking on the PKI is also being demonstrated by the previous speaker. Nice to see all such things, but I will be slightly deviating from the current facts and going into the future. So what exactly we are going to see today is on the a uh, different node of uh, PKI, which is almost now in India, at least after the enablement of uh, IT Act 2000, that means almost two decades, a lot of uh, work has happened in our country and uh, more than over a dozen CAs are being registered under the CCM uh, ambit. And then uh, over a um, uh, few lakhs of certificates are being issued by overall in case if we sum up all those CAs together. But I would like to give you something more on that today. Uh, what exactly now we need? We were looking on to the PKI almost two decades back when we just started uh, implementing certain digital solutions where the non reputation authentication is required, typically in the financial domain when we started working very seriously in the country. And uh, now, again, the time has come to enable more such things in our country at a, or even in fact, not even a country at a global level, I should say. I'll, I'll, I'll show this uh, slide. I don't know how it's being, yeah, it's coming there. That's right. So if, uh, this is a typical statistics, uh, which I am uh, showing on the slide on the internet of things. The way in which it has evolved over a period, the type of the things which are being used in day to day activities in the entire, uh, I hope you are able to hear me, Anup. Uh, I can see you there. Uh, you are able to hear me, I, I believe. Yeah. So, so in in, in uh, are you able to hear me? Okay. Fine. So, if I see uh, this is we are in two zero two one, and uh, the way in which it has been connected, this is something around. Uh, 35 billions of the IoT are already being there and you see that the trend is an exponential and so in the next uh, couple of years it will go to explode by 75 billion connected devices possibly connected or maybe working in the isolations even if half of them is being connected it is more than 10 times more than the population of the globe on earth which means the current type of the PK which is being there in place will not going to solve the purpose if at all, we are going to depend upon more and more on the interconnecting devices. And given that scenario, the, already the people are uh, there who are uh, working in uh, with, 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 with almost 
in parallel to the type of the development which was happening and the negative mind is also working in parallel where the attacks on the IIT security is already being taken into con consideration by the attackers where all such things on the communication on the life cycle or the device software and as well as on the physical threats are also being taken into account on the type of the attacks which can happen but the the attacks which are there is typically happening we, we should know what is the typical reasons why these attacks are going to happen and how they can materialize materializing is typically can happen when you have a multiple type of scenarios and there are several uh, or loopholes which are being there and not being identified typically happens when the lack of uh, hardening physical hardening is being not done or not being carried out see the scenario when the point of sales terminals which were being deployed almost 20 years back the type the way in which the personalization used to happen for those pos uh, devices and now how the pos personalization happens it becomes altogether a different ball game today we can personalize more than a, in a one typical setup we can personalize more than 1000 pos from morning till evening whereas we used to take almost uh, six to seven hours to personalize some five to six point of sales terminals in uh, year 2000. Uh, that's my experience, which I'm I'm I'm, I'm sharing to this uh, elite gathering today. So the type of the hardening, the insecure data storage, the transfer of the data, which is happening from device to device, the lack of visibility in the and the device management, weak passcode, insecure systems, and the list goes on. Why these threats will going to come arise and that, and at the same time, uh, this. Uh, as we have seen that uh, uh, that time that can we survive without PKI and the answer was typically no because the PKI at that point of time has was nurturing and then now it has come as an open standards being adopted by various countries we have seen um, in the past that how these devices has or the enablement of applications to the PKI is being carried out and things will not be too vague that in upcoming days the IOTs will going to work in tandem with the day to day activities um, uh, even today even even today also you can have a connected clinical devices a lot of instruments even in the um, ICU or IICU which are being there they are interconnected and will going to alert the doctors on their mobile phones which means they are connected devices so in case if some of the devices getting hacked what will going to happen in case if the uh, trust between the two communicating devices that doesn't happen in the way in which we may require and then the mysterious content which is being passed it will going to be a life threatening things to the connecting devices so you see that the type of the dependencies on the device which we are taking into account and the type of the usage of these devices which are coming into our day to day life will be it, that's what i said on the uh, clinical devices biometric wireless wearables metering industrial automation connected cars or the connected car also will going to have a lot of uh, impact on them so you see or maybe the smart homes the smart cities what not so, so many things which will going to emerge and they will be having lot many devices uh, connected with each other and therefore in case if the device authentication doesn't happen and the non reputation or whatever the integrity of the contents which are being transferred from a device to another device for whatever the suitable actions things will difficult for manage in case if the proper authentication is not being taken into account and this august gathering which is being there they know that what is pki pki typically is an ubiquitous throughout a wide variety of network system for a, uh, for a centralized decentralized credential management and the key distribution that's what it is being already established uh, fact and nothing to be taught on the pki as of now because all of us are well matured and uh, intelligent enough to understand what exactly the state of the pki but this we are talking on the systems where there is a proper uh, uh, computing power and uh, also the storage and uh, um, the storage along with the computing power will going to provide us the flexibility to authenticate the certificate chains or the messages or the transactions which are happening or authenticating the things maybe even if you talk about the, the things which we are doing now uh, is typically in HTTPS is a derivative or the derivative use of the PKI where the HTTPS protocol is being uh, using the SSL layer 3 
communication protocol which will going to use the PKI directly. Uh, whatever the session establishment or session key is being so in in such cases the computing devices are having the capability to authenticate and do an end to end encryption but that may not be possible with the small devices like an iot which or 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 maybe uh, the things which has less storage where their size is very small and in fact the, sometimes the iot's are uh, a one time usage uh, like an rfid which we talk about a few years back so uh, the the internet of things as we say that they are slow adopters uh, for both the reasons because it is economically uh, and technically not viable for them to use such things as on date because of the type of the pki usage and the technology available is actually heavy i should say so that's why that title came as a light pki which i i'm talking about and in the current IoT systems, what is being uh, there in, uh, for the case for the purpose of security is the pre-shared keys, which means that uh, there will be the keys which will going to be uh, installed or being injected at the time of the fabrication or at the time of the personalization mask personalizations, with uh, only one such uh, things. And in case if one device get compromised, there will be a chances that uh, this will go to compromise the entire setup uh, being there once these IoT getting devised installed on the uh, in the mass or in the community or in the society i'll give you a small example on the doll or the maria attack in german where the uh, doll was being having an iot and which was having a spurious camera and this camera was being tapped by the attackers and whatever the dolls which were being there these cameras can take those pictures and can transmit it was i think around 2017 or 18 i think 17 or 18 attack was there so all the dolls which were being floated into the market were being called off and uh, it was not going to be used any more such things because it, it, it uh, and this is just, just one such case I'm, I'm i'm talking there will be few things uh, i will put it like this the national grid of uh, uk was being uh, jeopardized by the attackers is because there was an attack on the SCADA systems of them and then they jeopardize the entire supply of electricity into the typical city even in the new york city also the so in case if uh, as, as as the previous speaker also conveyed that uh, if you go on to a small uh, client and then you can jump on to the bigger one that's would be the typical strategy of an attacker but the iot device is making much more vulnerable the scenarios when the attackers will going to start uh, attacking the IOTs. However, if at all the PKI is being there, it can further uh, add a barrier or maybe raise the bar for an attacker to uh, go further more. So, I think I have already said that. Uh, so, so why uh, the, it is not getting flourish is on date because of the economical and technical reasons, and there are. Um, a few more things I want to convey here that the IoT typically are um, sensors actually related with the stringent resource constraints. And in order to participate in the PKI, there must be a typical mechanisms to be available uh, where the initial enrollment, that is the personalization and uh, doing the perso with respect to the application and the domain uh, to be done automatically because the deployment of the IoT is uh, in masses. So in case if there is any delay, is, it becomes typically difficult for them. And to, and then subsequently, uh, re-enrollment, which is, means that in case if the certificate life is expired, either you need to change the IoT or you need to change the uh, re-enrollment or of the device where the certificate keys are need to be changed. And at the same time, the certificate verifications which are uh, required almost on every transaction or on an every entity which is getting connected or getting uh, what do you call communicating to it will require the uh, authentication so therefore the verification of the certificate to be carried out by the device so the device which is already having a resource constraints both in computing and the storage and uh, you may like to do some more things onto it apart from the regular activity which it is meant for. And therefore, what we need is that we need to have the, definitely the current PKI cannot, uh, cannot be used as it is 
for the purpose of uh, using and authenticating the uh, in the scenario of IoT deployments. No, cannot be used because it is considered to be not considered. This is bulky with respect to this the environment which we are talking about, and uh, therefore. In order to maintain such thing that the authentication to be done by the PKI and at the same time uh, we can uh, cons we can do in the constrained environment. So that is the challenge right now we are having uh, with that uh, scenario and the, as uh, also the point three that these these IOTs are having a low battery or the they are a low battery powered devices like a, your mobile phone also possibly or maybe or a few more devices which are further uh, low. Uh, batteries etc so given such things what is the need here so what we need here so that's that's the crux of the today's uh, talk and possibly yeah uh, we will finish in time yeah. so what we need is that an integrated lightweight certificate enrollment for the iot device so which means that we need an uh, we need a framework which will or a software or whatever you may call it as will going to provide a bulk personal applications for the IOTs which will going to have a domain specific certificates and also the certificates which is being required by the device which means that the same perso cannot be used verbose as it is because you the, the current scenario means the personalization of the with the PSK which happens in the IOT cannot be used because in the PSK you have a pre-secret key which is the same, whereas in the PKR uh, form, we need to have a domain specific certificate, which are unique to that IoT devices. We are not bothered about the key, the, the, the number of the keys, but we are bothered about the, uh, the, key, the uh, different keys. Uh, and uh, uh, one second thing is that uh, profiling uh, the lightweight encoding of the X509. X509 V3 provides you ample amount of uh, fields sub field subject as we have seen in the previous talk that how many fields which are being there and how many fields which can be utilized uh, i i don't think that even today in last 20 years whatever there is my little bit of experience in working in the pki gives me an opportunity to use all those fields i have never used typically whatever uh, the, in fact the only i think i have used hardly uh, one, one less than one fourth of the fields which are being there in the certificate for even even the uh, most extensive payment applications uh, I, I think we have not able to use more than 25 percent of the fields which are required yes the some of the fields are critical for which the system will going to check and then the flag will be alerted accordingly if we are uh, maintaining those uh, bk enablement applications uh, the, the proper checkbox into 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 place. So therefore, what is being required in this case is that uh, we need to have a, a lightweight X509. Yes, IET, IETF. Some of the standards are being coming up. They are not still mature. They are coming up. There are drafts which are being already floating on the uh, the draft study, say, stages, and then a lot of uh, work is uh, uh, going on right now. And third is. The integration of the domain specific certificate mechanism to form an end to end security, which means that from a domain to another domain where the IoT device, let me, let me put it like this uh, my fridge should talk to my milk vendor mobile phone application, which means that my I am having a deficit in uh, of milk in my fridge and it should alert to my milk vendor that you should deliver two liters of milk by day after tomorrow to house number this which see the scenario that my uh, which means that means my phone number my house number and my uh, uh, milk vendor all are being connected and they are being passed without losing the privacy of anyone which are involved in this so which is typically being followed by or can be obtained by the pki but becoming difficult in case if there are difficult different hops which are being there for uh, different type of scenarios. I, I just gave a small example. There can be many more uh, things. Can uh, complex examples can be uh, can uh, can emerge. And I'm not um, uh, throwing the vague contents, but definitely scenario would be like that tomorrow. Tomorrow will be like that, uh, and um, things are not too far because the way in which the uh, semiconductor and wafer technologies are coming up we possibly may have the computing capability in the iot devices but 
as a whatever the capability which we may expect but in case if we have a lighter a lighter pk we definitely will have an added advantage to integrate that device into us, our system much more easier and uh, much more uh, um, faster that way and then we can see definitely a smart homes and smart cities overall so a small life cycle just hypothetically i have uh, created uh, where the factory certificate installed bootstrapping information sort of revocation expiration re-enrollment etc etc the possibility the diagram could be much more complex a small uh, uh, hypothetical diagram is being presented here at this at this moment so the need of the r is what is that you need to have a pki which is a lightweight why like uh, lightweight we have already seen that but what could be the constituent of the lightweight is that it can enroll those certificates properly and they can re-enroll with the computing devices which are required for uh, the, those domains etc with that uh, a small uh, this i think i have borrowed from uh, one of the itf uh, um, uh, stand, not standards they are still in the draft stages which is uh, in the discussion and um, some of the uh, uh, fields and the values which typically can be uh, shown here on the lightweight certificates uh, like uh, your uh, um, algorithms or the signing key or the common names etc can be can be there so i think uh, typical challenges uh, long chains might not be feasible just what we have in the current pki in the iot is not there but in case if you need the long chains verifications there need to be a different intermediary mechanisms to be placed in where the different servers, intermediate servers will going to take a responsibility. Uh, maybe it could be a hybrid model of the current PKI as well as the light PKI initially possible. And then we can jump into that. Uh, some of the firewalls also need to be compatible with the IoT as just the example I gave on the smart homes with my mail printer and the fridge talking to each other. And the server deployment, uh, server should employ the basic protection strategies of the back. So, so many things um, can be there and then definitely the price must be lower than the price of the certificate which are currently available because the, co the, the though the cost which initially thought of the PK of the certificate has been reduced by almost 10 times. Initially when 2000 rupees in two, year 2000 was being talked about and now it is almost a 200 and there is there that we are seeing that in 200 rupees you can get a certificate for that whereas in for the devices you should have in paisas basic possibly 20 paisa certificate would be there to break even break even should not be an issue uh, I, I don't see that the break even will be taking more than a years or one and a half years time in case even if we give a 20 room 20 paisa uh, per certificate so typical challenges are there but uh, we we definitely can make out so with that i come to the last slide and thank you